Hey MTG YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here for another game on Untap. This is for the Untap Open League. This is a Discord server that has that uses Untap.in to host super unsanctioned magic tournaments. I am I see mine. I see mine. T1 Glistener Elf Untap Open League match. That's me. So let me jump right on in. Make sure I click the right one. Join that game. Okay. You have joined a game. Enter game. Cool. Insert deck. This is for Legacy, so I'm playing... Unfortunately not in fact, I am using a deck from someone I, I registered too late. Um, and thankfully, uh, someone was good enough to let me borrow their deck. Uh, and so I'm, I'm going to make the most out of it. I hope you can all see all of this. It'll take just a moment to load, so shoutouts to Derpy. Oh, those custom card slaves. Don't know who that is. Shoutouts to Psychonauts, the poster back here, and shoutouts to Tim Schaefer for making it, and shoutouts to Earl Grey T with gratuitous amounts of caffeine. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be his turn to go... Um, let me, ooh, let me, let me stay up so you can see. I may have to scoot the camera or computer a little closer to me. So there's a Thought Seize. Uh, <laughs> yes, that is a Dark Writ, Buried Alive, Double Arc Light, <laughs> this looks fine. I will keep as well. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Alright. Wasteland. Cool. So, I'm not very good with the, the hotkeys in this. <laughs> as, as we learned from the last time I did this for Frontier. I am awful with that. Uh, so we are actually going to play it a, a tiny bit slowly. I can go... Wait a minute, this is a polluted delta. Oh, let me check my deck list again. Oh, um... You do have my deck list, right? Alright. And that, that's, a, that's a big question. That's a, a big thing to, uh, to note here. Let me see. Arc. Oh, it wouldn't be on here. It wouldn't be on this one. It would be... Arclight... Dang it, spell, Jay. Spell. <laughs> Arclight Mentor. There we go. That's the one. So I will pull this over to Chrome so you can see it. I'm really good with computers, I swear. Okay, so here's my deck list. Uh, I have how many swamps? I have a swamp. Good. That's what I need to know. That's all I need to know here. Uh, Mr. J... Yeah, no soups. Yeah. That's me. Mm, just making sure. Okay, cool. So since I'm borrowing a person's deck, it's, it's only fair that I make sure that he knows what my deck list is. Uh, so I would like to go Fetch, Swamp, Dark Writ, Buried Alive. So we're going to do that. Fetch... Tap, gonna drop my life total. This is a little <laughs> little slow, but we're we're getting there. Uh, discard. Move it. <laughs> Move it. Okay, there we go. Uh, search. How do I search? Yeah, everything in here is really mechanical. Um, expel, discard, play face down, play, da da da, that shuffle. Search. Look at cards. Look at top 52 cards. I'm, I'm working on it. Where's the swamp? <laughs> There's the swamp. Play it. <laughs> Come on! Okay, here we go. There we go. And then we're going to shuffle. Okay. Uh, how do I close? There should be an X. There it is. There it is. We got this. And, uh, and then we shuffle. Cool. Okay, we got there. Super basic stuff. <laughs> tap. I said tap. <laughs> Dark Ritual. Um, into... I'm going to make the mana. I'm just going to spin the mana right now. Buried Alive. Alright. So, no response. I, I assume it was to that, not the Dark Ritual. We're going to go right ahead and uh, 
do this again. We're going to do this monstrosity again. Look at number, where number is 51. This seems like a bit of an obnoxious deck to play, <laughs> to, play to be honest. Okay, so we're going to put... I'm going to put them on the field, but actually they're going in the yard. So... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Phoenix... Phoenix... And then... Oh, uh, what else in this deck wants to go in the graveyard? That's in the main board anyway. Not really much of anything, as far as I'm aware, so... Since I already have some lands, I'm inclined to just put another land in to thin my deck a little bit. Which is probably exactly what I'll do. I will get rid of another polluted delta. I believe. Well, I already have the swamp, so I'll, I'll get rid of... Is there anything that only gets swamps? Or only gets swamps, so... Nope, we're going to get rid of yet another polluted delta. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Okay, and just to make sure... Buried Ruin says three creature cards. Whoops! Whoopsie poopsie. Up two three. Uh up two three. Alright. So move those in. Alright. And then shuffle. Wait, X X first. And then shuffle, just in case. Alright. <laughs> Your go. All right, cool. Um, and then I yeah, in my turn. Okay, all of that was one turn. I'm probably like this the whole time, so I apologize for that. But uh, <laughs> that's because of where the camera is. Um, that's all one turn. That's how long this thing can take sometimes. So yeah, buried ruin requires me to only do creatures. Um, I could do another mentor. I like mentor though. Chalice on one. <laughs> yup. Yup. <laughs> I don't know how to say no response on here. I don't know how to get the no response along the middle. Maybe there's a hotkey for it. Um, it's my turn though, so Z is untap everything. C is draw. O. Oh, that's a problem. Well, I'm going to play a Flooded Strand, and pass the turn. That's a problem. Now, the thought sees being under a Chalice is actually not that bad, believe it or not. And the reason is because uh, Arclight Phoenix only cares about cast. So, I can cast it. It can get countered by Chalice. It still counts towards Arclight Phoenix. Um... Yeah, so that's fun. Now, Chalice and One will stop Dark Ritz, but same thing. Once I already have three mana, I'll live. It's fine. I can even daze my own spell if it means making it to three so I can get the Phoenixes out. Uh, by the way, um, you can see my opponent's... Oh, there's a Thorn. Yikes, that's that's not good. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, this is Eldrazi, of course. In case that weren't obvious enough, this is Eldrazi that my opponent's playing. I'm going to tell him, yup, and I'm going to look at the hotkeys here. Where is no response? That's Q. Okay, so Q is no response. A is alert response. Close. Okay, pass to me. X, C. <laughs> Come on! Okay, yes, I could have deck thinned as well. It probably would have been good to do a deck thinning on upkeep. Um, I don't need more lands. I need everything else, but I don't need more lands. Um, now when we look at the deck list, we look at my deck list, um, what sources of white mana do I have? I have a scrubland, and I should have, I have two tundras. So, I am a little worried about playing into those wastelands, because if I lose too much white mana, I can't cast Mentor. So we're gonna play the island here, and we're just going to Pass the turn. And remember that Q is no response. Also, I'm playing lands in front, presumably because I played a land first and that's just what it's doing. Oh, wait a second. There we go. I'm trying to separate. How do you separate these things? 
Oh my goodness. How did I do that? <laughs> uh, did I, I hit a hotkey accidentally? Uh... Hmm... What did I do? Ooh! Uh, hit Q. No response. Seriously, how do I separate these? What is going on? One, two, three, four, five. My lands are stuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, help. Okay. How about we uh, discard? Please, just discard. Please, I beg of you, just discard the, the flooded strand. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to look at our cards. I said, it, it certainly helps that the wasteland is tapped. Look at the top 47 cards. <laughs> I'd like a little scry X where X is all of the cards ever effect. That would be nice. Uh, going back to my list, I have one swamp, one island. So it, it's risky doing what I'm doing right here to be one trillion percent sure. I need to get scrubland because it would let me do Thoughtseize Thoughtseize. Unless, unless, well, huh, yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll get scrubland. There's only one scrubland in the deck, so I, I should be a little bit careful. That's all right. So that's what we're doing. Getting a scrubland. Insert all my lands are scrublands. Joke. Ha ha. Very funny. My head is way too low. Scooch this down just a bit. Whoop. Cool. And now, shuffle and draw. Ta-da! Oh no! I don't have triple black mana! <laughs> Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> Why me? Why me? Okay! I will next turn. I'll be dead next turn, but I'll have it. No, I won't, because there's a wasteland, and there's zero chance that they're not using it. Ah, uh, Probably GG's. I'll... Play it out. Yep. I don't know why I say stuff like that. <laughs> Just probably to be honest. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's reassuring. Thank you. Oh, okay. You better waste that. You had better waste that. Ancient Tomb? Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, wait, one, two, three, four. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. It's, uh, it's the Inbringer. Inbringer. Oh, no, it's, a. Uh, is that an Oblivion Sower? Okay. Um... Uh, I'm actually reading this again. When you cast the spell, target opponent exiles the top four cards of their library. Uh... Expel? Um... How do I... How do I do this? Uh, how about... Yeah... Working on it. <laughs> uh, is it... Expel? That's gotta be it, right? Okay, that is it. That is it. Okay. Alright. 
Target opponent, you may put any number of land cards that player owns from exile onto the battlefield under your control. One, hello, all right, one, two, let's see, where is give to my opponent, uh, invert, is that it? Nope, that's not it, <laughs> that's not it at all, uh, here, have at it, oh, there we go, that's it, that's what you do, oh, no, 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 he's making, he's making it now. Okay. Cool. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, now what? <laughs> uh, uh, here, I got it. I got it. I got it. Let me uh, face down. And then face down. Good. Okay. Now, now that we've gotten that out of the way, that monstrosity, uh, untap, draw, ponder, a little light, but that's okay, I guess. Um, so let's see. There's only there are only two cards. Let me let me look at the text on ArcLight again, real quick, just to make sure. Because uh, unfortunately, even if I flash back Cabal Therapy, I can't target myself. These guys are just absolutely stuck in hand. Period. End of story. Ah, oh, and that's another Dark Ritual. Okay. That is that is the Dark Ritual. Okay. If I can find a way to make myself discard, if you've cast three or more, but that's only at the beginning of combat, and you only get one beginning of combat. Wait a minute. At the beginning of combat, at so it's it's a trigger. Never mind. I don't get to redo that. Okay. What I was hoping I could do is get multiple instances of that working. I cannot. Uh, well, I want to save the ponder. I, if I thought seize, that's two damage at me. So let's do this. Cabal therapy. Targeting you. Naming Stormcrow. <laughs> Getting the meme in. Okay. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Hence, hence naming Stormcrow. I, I know. That's, that's the idea. Alright. Ponder. Same. Thought cease. Unfortunately. Well, it's countered, so I don't have to take two. Yeah, because that's worded weirdly. It is indeed. Uh, you and you kick. Don't you pay an extra one mana? Oh no! Yep. Thorn OP. I should know that. It's restricted vintage. GG. Next game. I thought about Chalice. All right, cool. Let's look at the hotkeys and figure out how to close this game out. Uh, whale. Whale. Um, oh, it's over here somewhere. Scoop cards and new game. Sideboard. So let's see what we have. <laughs> uh, Serenity is burial artifacts and enchantments. That's, yes, yes, that's absolutely going. Let me just take the ones I'm putting in first. Disenchant is, is good. Um, work on Chalice on one, and that's kind of important. Just a little bit. Swords to Plowshares is probably a necessary evil. I don't want to go overboard on white mana, though. Plains is, impo is probably important in this uh, Wasteland-heavy deck. It's running the full four, I believe. Okay, now then. What does nothing? Days is coming out. Uh, days can stay in on the play, 
But it's weird because it's a cavern deck. But... Mmm. That's, that's tricky. I want to be more proactive. Days is not very good at triggering Arclight Phoenix. And that's really something that I have to do. So, uh, Days, I love you, buddy, but you're going to have to come out for this one. So, given that, we've put three cards in, four cards out. There's one more to come in. And it might be planes, honestly. I want swords to plowshares. Hmm. So, swords is interesting. I can swords a reality smasher and actually get an upside out of it because I want my arc like Phoenixes in the yard. Um, I think I want a planes. We, we want a planes, and now let's look to see if there's anything else that we can add back in. Or anything else we can take out, and then more stuff to add in. Uh, Buried Alive is just fast. It's freakishly fast. It's something I'd like to have. If I can, um, do I take out a land? A trade land for land? That seems weird to do when you're talking, when you just spoke about uh, Wasteland. Flooded Strand just got a lot better. Do I have any copies of Marsh Flats? Marsh Flats just got worse. Marsh Flats. Uh, one Marsh Flats out. Whoa, I, I just made the camera do something funny. Marsh Flats out, so land for land. Swords to Plowshares in. Save deck for next game. Cool! Let's draw seven. As you do. Since I'm going first, do I not see any? I see a Lotus Petal into a Thought Seize or a Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Buried Alive, three Arc Lights, nothing. Ha 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 ha
Oh no. If I'm playing a swamp here, I'm not pondering. It's okay if I can make my opponent use a wasteland on turn one on an underground sea when I already have another one. I think that's okay. Find card. So much better. So much easier to do. Okay. This is fine. This is fine, actually. I would trade Wasteland for Underground Sea when I have another Underground Sea in hand. That's fine. Alright, so we've got a... Sh it, I assume it doesn't have to be shuffled, but I am going to... Crap, I had to shuffle first anyway. I, I had to shuffle first from the fetch land. Okay, so never mind. We're good now. So look at top three. How do we do this? Look at top three cards. Uh, Therapy, Dark Ritual, Phoenix. Um, well, I can get two of these. I like Therapy, Ritual, I like, I also like Therapy, Phoenix, Target Myself. That is one mode that that has. Um, the ritual is actually not as good here because I already am going to have gobbledygook amounts of mana. So uh, I think that we will stack them such that I will draw this card, add that to my hand, and put this card. I said, put this card. I said, <laughs> how do I make it go down? Uh, trying to figure out how to, out, how to ponder, lol. <laughs> okay, um, deck, I guess? Oh, okay, that, that's odd, but I guess I can do that. Um, I can move this card to the bottom of the deck, and then move it up one. That's what we'll do. We'll do... No, because then I... Because uh, then I have to reveal the entire deck and do it again. And then I would see more cards. Uh, oof. You can rearrange if you haven't done that already. Uh... Where's that action? Um, sideboard, keep flip, flip top. Look at cards. Although you should have done that at the rearranging first, then draw. I'm sorry. I'm still not familiar with the interface. Okay. Where is the rearrange function? Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm glad it's not the blind leading the blind. I'm glad he knows what's up. I say he. I, I've seen him. He. Okay, so... Uh... Hmm, so first... Are you currently looking at the top three tar cards? Uh, two now. Yeah, like so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you'd think it would be easy as just doing this, but no. You can drag the cards and... Down here. Come on, come on! I cannot get them to change places. <laughs> I'm about to just say, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna draw a dark ritual then, I guess. <laughs> um, 
It may, not, it may not be ideal, but that's probably what's about to end up happening. In all honesty. Uh, okay, wait, wait, we have buttons. We have buttons here. Discard, play face down, play. Da 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 da. Select random, shuffle, expand. Uh, keep revealed to player two. Oh, for like a Jace Fate Seal. Okay. Huh. You can hover and press T. Are you serious? What is going on? T. T. <laughs> okay. Touch that. Hover over it. T. T. Why is it still in chat? Okay. Hover over it. Press T. Thank God. Okay. You're a saint. <laughs> You're a saint. <laughs> Wait, no, I just revealed that! No! Oh, whatever. Oops. You, uh, saw that in chat, right? <laughs> you... Haha. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna say done now. <laughs> I get that a lot. Okay. <laughs> Note to self Don't play ponder again <laughs> in a in a oh man. Uh, how do I not reveal that? Actual, factual, how do I not reveal that? I'll learn. I'll play some test games. Okay. See? Gee, I wonder what I'm going to draw. <laughs> Gee, what could that be? <laughs> Alright, so in all seriousness, we're going to fetch here. We're actually just going to play the fetch. We're not going to actually fetch yet. My opponent doesn't know that I can get black mana in just a bit. So, we'll play the fetch and pass the turn. I think that there's maybe a case for drawing the Dark Ritual anyway, but now that Chalice on 1 is down, I can't get the Arc Light Phoenix out of my hand unless I find a discard outlet or a Buried Alive or something. So... Okay, that's a that's a Eldrazi Temple. 16. <laughs> mana, mana, mana. Mana, mana, mana. Our Oh, okay. So this isn't the untap ability on it. This is just I'm untapping it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Q. No response. There we go. I'll try to get used to that. <laughs> response is to cry haha -ha. <laughs> all right so take 5 here haven't fetched yet okay passing over to me op op <laughs> op plus nerf all right so cool uh, upkeep. Right, go to fourteen, because I don't want to forget that. It's a it's a lot harder to remember that sort of thing. I find when you are um, using a, an unfamiliar interface. Look at you three. Look at you. Okay. Uh, huh. I think what I want to get swamp. Well, uh, wait a minute. That's a flooded strand. 
There's the island. There's the plains. I can't get a swamp. That's a flooded strand. Uh-oh. Well, I haven't seen a wasteland, so, um, I guess I'll make it? Question mark? I really, really need to save that volcanic island. It's not actually going to work to be able to hardcast the arc light, but we're, we're going to pretend it's a thing. And then we close this up. Shuffle. You can see my face a little bit, right? Can't see all the beard. Cool. Now I will draw. Welcome to Hardcast Arclight Phoenix mode. <laughs> Why not? <coughs> so, Grim Monolith, for those that don't know, is a fixed version of a card that's banned in Legacy. You pay one more mana, and in exchange, um, you don't take one point of damage every turn. You don't... Oh, goo! Rip! Whee! Max, haha. -ha. We're gonna do the Spanish, haha, -ha, that time. Why not? Uh, ha, 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 ha. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion that turn four... Draw the card first. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion that turn four arc light phoenix. <laughs> Nyx is too slow. <laughs> you know, sneaking suspicion. Okay, um, this is my hand. Reveal all once. You got me. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, what can you do? Too true. Uh, not what I would have played, but what I would have played loses to <laughs> T1 Chalice on one. Oh, hello. Spell. Yep, you got me. So, uh, shoutouts to you, Derpy Elephant, if you're watching this later on. You, you got me. What can I say? Uh, I have not seen the the bleh, I have not seen the monastery mentors show up at all. Whew. Um, out of curiosity, why Eldrazi? Oh, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> oh, out of curiosity. I don't know. I, it seems common enough to me, but ask me. Whee! <laughs> Go to negative six. <laughs> or worse. Or worse. We'll see. I don't. Well, I guess we won't see. Um, I chose aggro drawsy because it's the <laughs> easiest deck in the format. Well, you're not wrong. I will have to learn. How to ponder eventually. <laughs> okay, Dilver. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. That's that's a good reason. If you don't have a lot of time, Eldrazi Aggro is. I don't think its highs are very high, 
but its lows don't appear to be all that low either. And it is admittedly easy to pilot. Um, I know that there's some, some decks that... Actually, I can't think of anything that just outright, utterly, always obliterates Eldrazi. Oh, this is No Soup's deck. He had to drop. I don't, I'm talking slowly because I'm typing to him, but yeah. He had to drop and he offered to let me use his. I was too late to register. It would have been, well, you can guess. <laughs> You already can guess. <laughs> oh well. I, I may cut a lot of this out. I, I apologize if this is dragging on, but then again, you, you just watched me try to figure out how to ponder for five minutes, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Infect pox. <laughs> uh, what, what's another, like, super pog champ uh, emote? Uh... PPMD Craigasm. <laughs> Craigasm. <laughs> that's not a that's not a that's not an actual emote, I think. No, it, it can't be. There's a space. I don't know. However that works. <laughs> PPMD Craigasm. Shout outs to PPMD. I'm looking forward to seeing you in tournaments. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna call that. So thank you very much for watching and uh I'm glad that didn't go quite as badly as I the recording didn't go as badly as I hoped the game. Alright, well, see you later.